Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to this squad builder I have for you chaps and chapettes and today we're doing the Champions League quarterfinal so as you guys can see there are eight badges on the screen and I challenge myself to create a squad with at least one player from each team in one entire team and get the full 99 chemistry so that was it you know that was the challenge I put on myself and uh, it wasn't necessarily if the team was going to be good or anything it was just a challenge that I wanted to give myself to see if it was possible at all so um so here the teams you guys are looking at right Right now are the teams involved in the quarterfinals of the Champions League. Malaga, Galatasaray, Bayern, Real Madrid, Borussia Dortmund, Barcelona, PSG and Juventus. All really good teams and I wanted to see what I could create with them. So I decided to go with my all trusty 3-5-2 formation. It was actually just the one I decided I'd try it out with and uh, I figured this would actually be a little bit of a challenging task. You know there are some players especially the Galatasaray team. Um, you know the, the ones I instantly took a look at was the Inform Yilmaz as well as Schneider. Those were the two main players that I was uh, kind of drawn towards because they're um they're probably two of the most popular ones in that particular team. Unfortunately, there isn't the rest of the Turkish league on FIFA, so you can only really pick um, players from within um, Galatasaray if you want them to get any sort of chemistry links. But in goalkeeper, I decided to pick Buffon. One, because Buffon is a quality player, and he fills that Juventus role. So that worked absolutely wonderfully for me. And uh, then we obviously had a centre-back position to fill up as well, and that was going to be Lucio. Um, Lucio, as a centre-back, he's alright. He has a high attacking work rate. So it can kind of let you down a little bit, but um, I figured he'd work well when combining up with Buffon and Lucio is actually a really key part to this team because he's gonna essentially unlock the left half of my squad, which is very Brazilian dominated. So on the left uh, center back position, we have Felipe Santana. He's gonna be one of the Borussia Dortmund links up. So obviously uh, the quarterfinal hosts eight teams and obviously there are 11 spots on this uh, uh, on a football pitch. So there are gonna be a couple players uh, uh, that belong to you know the same team, but that shouldn't really matter It was just all a bit of a challenge to see if I could possibly create this team and get the full 99 chemistry Next up we have team of the year Puyol and he's gonna be my Brazilian player um, Obviously nothing wrong with the team of the year player Obviously if you don't have the budget for it, then just get the regular one There is absolutely no difference, but he's the first one that popped up in my search So that's the one I went for now Next up, we have um, the Real Madrid player, um, Xabi Alonso. I decided to play him at a defensive midfield position, and he works out really nicely. He's going to link up with the center attacking mid as well quite shortly. And uh, the kind of the right side of this 3-5-2 formation is going to be very Liga BBVA based. Then the other defensive mid, we have the Galatasaray player, Felipe Melo. And he, it, I was so lucky he was Brazilian, because obviously he links up very nicely with the likes of Lucio and Felipe Santana. So I was so lucky that he was Brazilian. Brazilian because I tried to make this squad with um, the likes of Schneider or Yilmaz but it just wasn't working out it was so so hard to create a team with both of those players in it then at left mid we have another Brazilian player and his name is Nene um, I wasn't entirely too sold on Nene this time around uh, you know I didn't really um, I haven't really played with him too much I didn't really like him at all in FIFA 12 so I was a little bit skeptical of using him again in FIFA 13 and then at right midfield we have obviously a um, La Liga player and it's that I, I don't even want to try and say the name Jaquin, Jaquin, or something like that. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> I probably just completely butchered his name there, but um, he has an inform, so I decided to put him as a right mid. And you can see, you know, those three players there get all really bright green links. So they're getting some great chemistry off each other. And that's what pretty much allows Xavi Alonso there to pick up a uh, nine chemistry rating, considering that he he doesn't connect up to any uh, to either Lucio or Romello. Then at center attacking mid, we have a player that kind of connects both sides of the 3-5-2 uh, up. And that is um, Kaka. Kaka is a wonderful center attacking mid. He takes the Brazilian from the left hand side and the La Liga from the right hand side and combines them which allows him to get some good chemistry as well. Then at striker we obviously needed a Bayern Munich player and uh, obviously someone to link up nicely with him. So we decided to go with Royce and Gomez. So there it is. That is uh, one player from at least, you know, from one club all in the quarterfinals. I don't know if that makes sense, but they pick up nine chemistry off each other because one, um, they're both German, and two, they both play in the same league, so they get that super nice uh, chemistry link up between them, which both gives them both nine. And as you guys can see in the far right hands, it's um, a 99 chemistry rated squad. So I hope you guys did all enjoy this. There is actually no gameplay because I just it was more of a challenge to see if I could create the squad itself. It wasn't necessarily to see how the team played, but if you guys would like to go ahead and recreate this team and then go and try and play with it, see if it's any good, 
I'm not inter entirely sure how it will fail, but it will uh, fare, sorry, not fail. Um, but yeah, do let me know in the comments if you guys have made it and have tried it out, uh, because I'd be interested to know how you guys get along, but it was more of just a little squad builder challenge for myself, and I had a great time doing it. So I hope you guys did enjoy this video, and I'll see you guys around. Bye-bye.